my friends and welcome back to The Witcher 3. In yesterday's video, we did eventually very, very slowly make it into town and start talking to people. And I have this very beautiful wall and brightly colored decorations and it's just so pretty. I don't know how else to, to describe it. But I did notice something that when I was trying to zoom out uh, with my mouse wheel, I actually switched my signs up on the top left, which I was like, that's amazing. Then I don't have to go to tab. I just have to, well, now it's telling me I can do it through my quick access menu. Well, thanks game. I thought I found something special. And I didn't. <laughs> but anyway, in today's video, we're going to wander around, explore, talk to people. Apparently my uh, storage is right here. Yeah, my stash. You can store weapons, armor, and junk in your stash for safekeeping, confident they will not be stolen or otherwise disappear. You can access your stash in a number of places throughout the world. Okay, that's pretty obvious here. So I have a torch. I don't know. I don't really have much to do with anything yet. But let's talk to this group here. What a waste of time. The Earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Git, Assistant Professor in Contemporary History at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher with tenure. <laughs> I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Horsewoman of war? Uh, what do you mean, good sir? Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. <laughs> Know where they saw her? No, facts interest me, not fairy tales. Well, he's a professor. Okay, that, that works. Oh, well, why are you here, professor? Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. What? Tired of life. <laughs> I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I have a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Um, go back to your books while you still can, write about the war, what it's really like. Um, uh, yeah, let's go with that one. Interesting. We need somebody to describe war, what it's really like. Not colorful banners and generals making moving speeches, but rape, violence, and thoughtless cruelty. Ah, I see you lack the polish of the Academy. Rape and cruelty are details of no import to the war's course. Trinkets on the garment of conflict, one might say. Hmm. <laughs> Tell that to the people whose houses burned down. Are the women being raped? So, has the war made it to Novigrad yet? War reached Novigrad yet? Nope. But it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other. Drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Mm -hmm. The scholars especially. <laughs> the sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Yet. Okay, uh, bye. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. Okay, dialogue, Gwent. Options marked with cards. We'll begin the game of Gwent. I have heard of this game. I, I don't know how to play this game, but I will try to play this game. So, all right. Why not? Splendid! Here's how it's done. Do you want to begin the Gwent tutorial? Yes. If I'm going to figure out how to play this as part of this game, then I'm going to have to be taught. Welcome to Gwent. It's an ancient dwarven card game that simulates the clash of two armies in battle. The players are generals and the cards are their forces. Okay, that's simple enough. 
I will go first, because I have a castle. So choose a card to redraw. To begin, you draw 10 cards. This will be your hand for the rest of the match. You will not draw any more cards, so use this wi wisely. Okay. Um, this is a unit card. The number in the upper left corner indicates strength. When placed on the battlefield, this value is added to the total strength of the player who placed it. This is the unit's combat row icon. So we have close combat, range combat, and siege combat, okay? Some cards have special abilities. The K20 Siege Expert's special ability is called Morale Boost, which grants plus one strength to all units in the same row. All right. Weather cards are a type of special card. They reduce the strength of all cards of a given type on the battlefield, including your own. Ooh. So, snow against swords, wind against bows, and water against siege weapons. I know I'm, I'm not saying the words right, but it's okay. The start of each game, you can select up to two cards to discard and redraw, but let's skip that for now and go straight to playing. Okay. Round start. Here's your battlefield. This is your side, obviously. That's my opponent's side. Is this like Hearthstone? Or is it a little, is it similar to it? I'm not good at that game either. I'm not good at these games, but. I will try, just for you guys, <laughs> for science, right? <laughs> During each turn, a player must place one guard on the battlefield or pass. Each deck has a leader. The leader grants you a special ability which can be used only once during a battle. Trigger the special ability at any point by pressing X. Press enter to select a card from your hand. Press enter again to place it on the battlefield. It's my turn. Um. Uh, King Fultist. It is natural and beautiful that a man should love his sister. No, it's not. Oh, no, I didn't mean to actually use it. Oh, well, that's... That's embarrassing. <laughs> okay, the number on the left by your icon shows the current total strength of your units. The number on the right shows the total strength for that row. Both values are updated when a card is played. At the end of the round, the player with the highest total strength wins. Okay. During your turn, you can pass by holding down space. Once you pass, you cannot play any more cards during that round. Your opponent can continue playing cards until he or she passes as well. You should pass when you are confident you can win with the units you already have in play or to let your opponent win and save your cards for the next round. Ooh. Okay. The round ends when both players have passed, and you compare the strength and determine the winner. All cards on the battlefield are discarded, and both players' total is reset to zero. Okay, that makes sense. It's my turn again. Let's try not to mess it up this time. Okay, so I've got a weather water card. Um, let's go with one of these ones. Um, escape cancel. Okay, that's what I should have pressed the last time. Enter apply. Okay, it's my turn again. So let's put on one of these. Sure. Hmm. Okay, let's um, try one of my big cards, Death Mold. I feel like I killed him, right? No, he was executed. Oh, wow. I brought it down to one. <laughs> and then, let's see. Uh, mm, let's try that one. Siegfried, oh.
Um, I don't know if I want to use any more of these. So let's see. Was water against... Let's save those. Um, I kind of want to pass. Let's see what happens. Can I pass? Oh, space hold pass. Okay. Oh, he's gonna beat me? Oh. That was not very smart. I should have kept playing. I thought. Okay, he won that round. All right, that's fine. Oh, he passed. But. So if he passes, that means I just have to put one card down, right? And then I pass, and I win. Northern Realm Faction ability triggered. Okay, I don't know what just happened. I got another card. So let's put that one down, I guess. Um, yes. Okay, um, let's put my Siege one out. Place Nick. I don't have any more weapons to... How do I... Place, okay, so it says type, type bond. Place next to a card with the same name to double its strength of both cards. Oh, okay. Um, well, I don't have any more of those, so I can't really do that. It's the last one, right? Oh, look at Sheldon! Oh, oh no. Um, hmm. This was against the melee one, right? Okay, good. <gasps> he passed! So I won! I won! There's no shame in passing and letting your opponent win around. Sometimes it's better to save your cards or later, each deck also holds its own heroes. Heroes are high value cards immune to effects of special cards. These powerful cards can turn the tide of battle. Acquire more powerful cards by completing certain quests or purchasing them from vendors. Great. Well, well, you have a knack for this game. If you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true master, ask for Stepan. A simple innkeep by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. Thanks. Gwent deck. You've got a new Gwent card. If you want to examine it, open the game menu and go to the Gwent deck panel. Okay, hang on. I have a Zoltan Shibby card. When one of your quests is updated, a notification will appear on the left side. Yeah, we know that. Collect them all. Hang on, secondary quests. Complete your collection of Gwent cards. In his previous adventures, Geralt had gained fame as a master dice poker player, yet having mastered all challenges in this area, he had no choice but to find another in which to garner more laurels. He thus decided to take up Gwent, and since he aimed to play at the highest levels, he felt he had to gather a complete collection of all the cards available, including some which could only be had by winning them off the best players around. Okay, sure, but it said to go to my game menu. Oh, Gwent deck. Okay, um, 
Wow, more, more, more menus. So we use our own customized decks. You can use this panel to manage your decks. So we have factions. Nilfgaard wins any round that ends in a draw, grants extra card. Scoia'tael decides who takes the first turn of battle and monsters keeps a random unit card on the battlefield after each round. Okay. And then there's my leader. There's Foltest. Foltest Lord Commander. And then I have all the cards which can be used with this faction. And my cards currently in my deck. Okay. And then my deck composition rules. A deck must consist of at least 22 cards. It can also contain up to 10 special cards. You can include more than 22 unit cards in a deck, but remember that doing so decreases your chances of drawing your most powerful cards. Okay. Your deck is currently two unit cards short as indicated by the red number. Um, it's only one. Okay. How do I add card? Add card. Okay. I will worry about all that later. That's the whole thing. Is it like nighttime already? <laughs> okay. Oh, did I get something new in my inventory? A uh, miraculous guide to Gwent. The tome you hold in your hands, commissioned by the most gracious Duke de Berry, shall make use of magic most arcane to display which Gwent cards are currently missing from your collection. You need but open it and repeat it in your mind. How about a how about a round of Gwent? And the following shall appear. So those are all the cards I need to get. Apparently there are seven in White Orchard. Okay. And then I have crafting materials. All right. Okay, let's save, since I want to run a Gwent. <laughs> I feel like I'm making no progress, but it'll be okay, right? Oh wait, there's no door over here. There was a door over here. And it's locked. Can I go upstairs? There we go. Now we're walking faster. I can't go upstairs, apparently. Does the scholar have anything else to say? Ah, you return. Shall I deal? No, I don't want to. Gotta go. So long. Till next time. Okay, we're gonna leave the inn. <laughs> At least. <laughs> Done drinking. Oh, it's you guys. Mm -hmm. Then fuck off. <sighs> Don't want your kind here. Hmm. Three against one. My, you're brave. I won't stay long. Back off. Well, maybe I can Jedi mind trick them away. Because he said not to, Vesemir said not to make a, make a fuss, right? I haven't done anything to you, so just calm down. Of course no. I, uh, he done nothing. Mm -hmm. Horses work in witchcraft. Get him! Oh, dear. Uh, can I just punch him? Uh oh. Oh, uh, apparently I can't. How long are you gonna make me wait? Um, pull out my sword. Oh, sorry, horses. Did I hit you? It's not my fault. They started a fight with me, guys. Don't get all pissy. Okay, yeah, I like this better. This, uh, 
you know, which are vision better. So game saves. Your game shall be automatically saved. Um, yeah, but you should still save, save for yourself. Okay. Old goat hide. They're catching snails and it's raining. Look at this, this is amazing. I climb up here. Okay, let me save in case I fall down and die. Let's talk to the peasants. Ours is a decent village. Stay away from me and my family. Ooh, okay. It's the cat again. Okay, I don't need to... Okay, Roach, you don't have to, like, get in my way. It's fine. Well, let's see. Oh, there's flowers to pick and people to talk to. My Myrtle. <laughs> Yes. Does it come off the mini map? It does come off the mini map. What do I got to do to get me a sword like that? You know, just become a witcher. I don't like you, white one. Thanks. How much do these? I feel like I'm gonna have a bag problem again. I can't help it. There's so many flowers to pick. Gosh, it's so pretty. The storm and everything. Okay, let's look at my map. And see, I've got the shopkeeper, roach. Oh, there's a notice board down there. And a woe song. So named because of a girl who once would stand on the bridge and sing waiting for her beloved to return. Well, let's... Um, let's go to the shopkeeper Anyone want to go and, jump in puddles? and see if they have anything interesting to sell. They're, those are the words I'm trying to use. <laughs> oh, there's a guy in armor over here. You'll not get food. Not for me. Okay. How about this peasant? Best be gone from here. Preserve you. Ours is a decent village. Okay, let's talk to them, merchant. We meet again. Thank you for oh, saving yeah. me. People say all kinds of things about witches, but I've always known yours to be an honorable guild. Huh. So you managed to salvage some goods? Yes, but I await the repair of my wagon. As time passes, my losses grow. Do you need something? I I'll let it go half free. Uh, well, I'm gonna go shopping and I will be right back. All right, well, I did end up buying saddlebags from him for like almost all my money, but it did raise my carry weight up by 30, which I think is pretty important right now, considering that it was only at 60. Watch <laughs> the blood from the fields. But why don't we make my way over to this? notice board that's behind me. I really wish I could just go right back here. If I hit M again. Okay, that's how I do it. Okay. What do you want? Nothing. Just, you know, talking to people. <laughs> We's catching snails. Hmm. Hmm. Can I just come in here and take, st okay, let's save. <laughs> Can I just come in here and take stuff again? I mean, I feel like I shouldn't be doing that, but they don't seem to be minding too terribly much. Right? I mean, is there money? Anywhere? Because I'm kind of broke now. <laughs> Black magic doll. Um, that's weird, right? Your hand is injured. And I can't talk to you. Hmm. His hand is very injured. All right, out we go to the next house. Looking for trouble? 
No, I just looted your place. I think we're good. <laughs> Boydemar, will you rise across with me? It's Dervan now. D E R V A N, what? not Boydemar. But what do you mean? I know what they named you at your cutting. What kind of name is that anyway? Dervan. Nilfgaardian. My gran was from Nazaire. Well, uh... Oh, so that's how it is. Then by my leave, Master Durbin, may the gold sun guide you far away from my land. Uh, okay. I feel like hmm? this isn't gonna end well. Good day to you. Good day. Oh, let's go in here. Yeah, we're just gonna go in every house for for the first like day or two together, just to get my feet under me. Again, no one seems to mind that I'm taking their stuff. I would think that would be a thing. Oh, Tucson, a duchy out of tales of fantasy and wonder. When a traveler from the Northern Realms first crosses the border into Tucson, he feels at once as though he has stepped into a land ripped straight from the pages of a fantastic fairy tale. He will know no inclement weather there, for even the winters in Tucson are mild and sunny with only gentle calming breezes and not a hint of gale. He will know no hunger for the trees and bushes of that land burst with ripe and juicy fruits all year long. He will know no loneliness for each and every soul he encounters will treat him like a long lost friend. He will not find a single backwater of dullness, boredom or inequitude in this overflowing stream of marvel. In Toussaint, the wine rages in torrents, music plays ceaselessly and everywhere the air is filled with the sound of birdsong and the twittering of beautiful maids who are never stingy with their ample charms when a handsome knight comes a calling. The capital of the duchy, Beauclair, is an architectural gem full of glorious elven monuments, delicately soaring towers, masterfully carved reliefs, and atmospherically mysterious ruins. Only the rare sun in a field of black, the odd glow and dark stain on an otherwise pristine edifice, reminds one that this land, this fable incarnate, is a vassal of Nilfgaard. Hmm. Interesting. A uh, place of wine and cheer. Yes, please. <laughs> money. Lots of money. Anything else? Turn off the lights for them since they didn't do so. Okay, let's uh, speed it up a little bit, Geralt. Oh, hello, sir. No, nothing to say? What do you want? Nothing. Sorry, I asked. So we came over there. Let's read this sign. Wanted honeycombs will pay top coin large quantities welcome to Mira the Herbalist. Hmm. Is this Tamira the Herbalist? I don't like you, Whoa! white one. Sorry. I I didn't mean to push you. Everything's gonna be fine. Um, okay. You were just conquered by another country. I don't know if fine is the right could ye, word. Could ye deliver us from evil? But maybe they'll be nicer because like Tamari was already falling apart anyway. Far away. That griffin's a real scourge. Oh yeah, I need to take care of that griffin. Oh, and there's a quest marker. Sorry. <laughs> These little things. I'm like, oh, quest marker. Again, more of these beautiful like paintings on the walls. So pretty. Oh, there's something here to loot. Come on, Geralt. Is there a way that I could turn on running all the time? Or is this just how it is right now? It's raining, it's pouring, Think you've got it tough. You've roof over your head. Okay, notice boards. Geralt has learned from experience to keep a close eye on his surroundings as he travels, for he never knows when he'll run into someone or something of interest. A damsel in distress, a merchant peddling wear, rare wares, or a nest of pesky monsters. Such locations are marked on your map. Um, place of power. Oh, place of power on your map now. That's nice. Grindstone armor is table. Oh dear. Well, the let's look at the notice board, the and then we'll the wrap things up for today. So, Imperial Edict 
number 18 of 45 or 18 slash 45. Let it hereby be known that by order of his Imperial Majesty's High Command, all able-bodied men of White Orchard must present themselves at the village inn, equipped with a shovel, hoe, or pickaxe of their own provision. The fields near the village are littered with corpses, and given the warm spring we are currently experiencing, the High Command fears the rotting bodies might bring contagion to the village. Let this stand as proof to the residents of White Orchard that their new rulers care for their safety and shall defend them not only from bandits, but also from disease by introducing measures which have long been standard in the civilized world. Any man refusing to comply with this order will be flogged and put in the stocks. Okay, sure, let's take it. Now, if Guardian Lessons, uh, don't understand what you just read? No wonder, it's a Nilf Guardian. And soon half the world will be speaking this mysterious tongue. So you best start learning it now, and yours truly can help you with that for a very modest fee. Ernest of Vicovaro. Bic the New Order. This Thursday, all peasants living near are invited to come listen to Captain Peter Sargwinlev, speaker on the subject of laws soon to be introduced in these lands by a writ of our most gracious sovereign, Amir Var Emriz. Attendance is not obligatory. Did I say that right? Anyway, <laughs> but every resident of White Orchard should partake of this opportunity to learn what rights they will enjoy and duties they will have to they will have under the new order. Good folk, you no longer live in a barbarous land where every man does as he sees fit. You are now part of the great empire of Nilfgaard. Nilfgaardian law now protects you, yet it also as ascribes you new obligations. Imperial forces have brought you the torch of enlightenment. Grab hold of it and your dark age shall soon give way to a bright new era. Looking to borrow a plow. Hey lads, there there are there any among you can lend me a plow. This is mine smacked up against a stone in a field so hard it bent halfways, and may a fiend take me if I know how to fix or plow my field without it. Raw goods. Brother missing. Bastion, my brother, went off to fight the black ones. I've reason to think he stood in the great battle nearby. He's not returned to this day. Like many others, you'll say, and you'll be in the right. But if he fell, and I know it's like he did, I'd give him up to the ground the lest, like our fathers have done always. I'd bury him neath the barrow where our parents lie, not leave his corpse to be ate by the corpsers prowling the battleground. Oh, let's say the thing. If you don't bury the corpses, then monsters come, right? So I seek a brave man, able with a sword, and willing to venture out with me to find Bastien. I won't pay much, for I've no, not much to give, but I'm not stingy with gratitude and sure to show it a plenty. Any man willing to help look for a raised hut along the road to White Orchard, just near the bridge, I have made camp there. Dune Vildenvert. That name sounds familiar. And then contract, devil by the well. Good folk, I know there's a war on and every man's got trouble enough of his own, but perhaps there's one of you who could help a father in need. You all surely know the well in the ruined village and the devil that guards it with a jealous fury. And if you don't know, well, come ask and I'll tell you all about it. Whoever drives the monster away from the well will get a fat purse of gold. Just don't tarry for it's an urgent matter. Audelon. Points of interest. <laughs> There's so many new things. It's, it's nice, but there are so many. <laughs> there is much interest to be found in the world's dense forests and fog clad swamps. Whenever you peruse a notice board, question markers will appear on your mini map to indicate potential interesting places. Seek them out to learn what secrets they hold. Okay, finally got through all of the map things. Oh, question marks. Ew. I need to go. I need to go to all these places. Ransacked village. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It says. It says fast travel here. I can fast travel there. Oh my gosh. They put in fast traveling. <laughs> oh my God, that is so amazing. Oh my God, that was like my biggest, one of my biggest complaints in the last two games was all the running around that I had to do. But it's over. Oh, 
That's so great. Um, well, I have more things to read and to look at, but I will do that tomorrow as we're definitely a time for today. Tomorrow, hopefully, I'll, I'll, I might do some exploring off camera or edit it out creatively just so you don't watch me loot for 30 minutes. <laughs> like you did watch me play Gwent. But I had to learn, so that's, we learned together. There you go. <laughs> But tomorrow we will start our Can full explorations. Maybe we'll get some questing in. Some Who knows what ha will happen. <laughs> but as always, thank you so very plan. much for watching. Oh, Please do keep thought. yourselves safe. And I will see you again tomorrow with another new Witcher 3 video.